Every new year, I find myself with the same vague dream of getting in the best shape of my life. But then life gets crazy, my schedule gets crammed, and I'm overwhelmed by the amount of things on my to-do list. After long, exhausting days, going to the gym is the last thing I want to do. Working out can be such a drag, but over the years, I've learned that it doesn't have to be stressful, and you don't have to spend hours in the gym to be fit and healthy. So I'm going to show you five ways to make working out easier. Okay, don't laugh, because this might sound silly, but number one is having an outfit that you love. I'm so much more motivated to go to the gym if I have something fun to wear because it makes me feel confident and happy. There are so many fun, colorful leggings out there that you can pair with different tank tops. So pick fun outfits and things that will make you feel your best at the gym. Your style says a lot about who you are and that can be applied to the gym too. If you've ever sat in your car just staring at the gym because maybe you're too intimidated to go in by yourself or you're just bored of going to the gym alone, get a workout buddy. Ready? Let's do it. I used to be so scared of going to the gym alone because I didn't know how to use any of the machines. Whether you work out with a trainer or bring a friend, working out with another person is way more fun and makes the time pass quicker. This is a great way to increase your knowledge at the gym, build a relationship, and have someone to hold you accountable. Number three is to create a good playlist. Running on the treadmill without music is the worst, and I get so bored and discouraged. It's so easy to make a playlist on Spotify or Apple Music with some bop and jams to help you get hyped for working out. Pick up beat, fun music, and throw some new songs in there to give you something to look forward to listening to. Music makes all the difference. If you get bored easily like me, you might get burnt out of going to the gym and doing the same old thing. That's why I recommend switching it up. Don't do cardio or lift every time you go. Try class one time, do cardio another time, lift a little, try new machines, or go outside and go for a hike. If you regularly switch up your workouts, you'll be less likely to burn out and you won't dread going as much. The last tip I found that makes working out easier is to eat well. I feel so much better when I'm eating a balanced diet and see the most results when I eat healthy. I try to cook a majority of my meals at home and try to limit myself from eating out to just a couple times a week. Not only is eating at home healthier for you, but it also helps to save money. Some of my favorite meals that I usually cook are I fry up some eggs or I'll grill some chicken. I roast tons of vegetables and try to use as many whole foods as possible. The progress we see in our bodies is 20% what we do in the gym and 80% what we do in the kitchen. Cooking my own meals is so fun and helps me know exactly what I'm putting into my body. Make it a priority to fill your cabinets and shelves with wholesome, nutritious foods and save your treats for special occasions. One thing that helps me stay healthy while I'm going to the grocery store is remembering to stay on the outside of the grocery store. All the produce and like the freshest things are gonna remain on the outside, and then all the more processed things, the chips, the sugar, the, the candy, the snacks are on the aisles. So if you can avoid it, try not to go down the aisles, but stay around the outside of the rim so that you aren't tempted to eat things that you shouldn't. Improving your diet is gonna give you more energy and also make you feel stronger. When you put in good things in the kitchen, you're gonna get good things out when you go to the gym. At the end of the day, I found that really if you just apply yourself and be intentional about making these things happen, you just have to do it. And it's not super hard, it's not as overwhelming as you think, but these are five of the things that have helped me, so try them out, they might help you too. The most important thing though is that you have grace for yourself. We're not created to be perfect, so don't expect yourself to be. Comment down below which of these tips you think was the best, or if I didn't mention something that really works well for you, let me know that too, because I'm always so encouraged by you guys and love trying new things. Before you go, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to find me on Instagram. Instagram at Nicole the Nomad. We'll see you on next week's video. Bye!